Um, hello guys. I was messing around with um, with that design that I showed you, um, and I want to show you uh, a modified version. Um, instead of using that piston on this axis that goes one way or the other way uh, I've made um, kind of this rod um, to actually open and close these scissors uh, the, I'm sure the weights this one is very light compared to this one um, this model it's not motorized uh, you've seen a brick uh, falling probably in the start that doesn't touches this I will show you one when that brick actually touches and kind of gives a kickstart uh, this one unfortunately doesn't work um, at least it does to somewhere somewhere around here uh, then it kind of goes uh, backwards um, but I really think I'm on the right track. I need to find the uh, proper angles and proportions. Maybe this rod is maybe it's not the best idea. Maybe I should use a bit of a different mechanism. Uh, now I'm showing you like the simulation how it goes. I actually saved it, but anyway kind of slow but I'll, I'll take this time to talk to you for a bit yeah so we see the wheel actually coming in reverse um, the issue is that this doesn't get closed when it should uh, and this doesn't get open or maybe it does get open when it should but it doesn't get closed when it should um, I should try, I don't think the weights, I've tried different uh, weights and it's not much of a difference but the angle, angle definitely plays a bigger role in this model. Um, this should be the one directional wheel, okay let me show you this one is with a big kick so yeah this is the model that I'm actually working with um, okay so there's this scissor with a weight on top uh, there's this rod that goes down and forces the um, way to open or close depending on where is the position um, I allowed the scissors to open a lot more but then there is a problem because it's a lot harder to close so I don't think it should be open too much but there is different there are definitely some proportions at place here uh, kind of what is going on here, you know, one weight moves, and anyway, it's very similar, okay, so let me play the simulation for so like I said, this is a really big kick, so, <laughs> it goes quite fast, right, so if you notice here, the, these orange dots, these are actually when this thing uh, hits the rim right because we've heard like people heard noises from inside the wheel on the descending side there was like a rod that hit the wheel every time it moved like I don't know how many times per second or per turn or some stuff like that uh, let me play it a bit slower because this went really fast uh, let's try 30% so you can 
Let's see. What's going on? That's a more intelligible speed. I really think I'm on the right track with the uh, at least or not the unidirectional wheel. Uh, I'll try to make this work somehow. Uh, probably when we'll figure it out uh, how this works, maybe the unidirectional will not be that hard. Think I kind of have an idea of what's going on there as well, but one thing at a time or maybe that one makes it even easier than this one who knows <laughs> actually you know what it actually might be easier than this one now that I come to think about it huh. and there should be less things to Less angles at least. Interesting. Yeah, so you see the rods like dropping, kicking, and this uh, it pushes. Um, it's a bit weird because you now the machine spins so fast that it doesn't have that much time to react. And kind of opens the um, the weight around here when it actually should open somewhere around here, or well, at least not necessarily, but in it kind of needs to operate at the same time the closing and the opening. That definitely needs to happen and. Yeah, mostly that's the thing, this two needs to need to go like at the same time. I'll play even a bit lower speed. I was getting a long video but what the heck. Let me check something. It should be yeah, y minus so gravity it's exactly like this downwards. Okay, here we go again. Yeah. So I think this is actually the trick that he he used um, like it's seen in the previous device I've actually used the weight to slide like 90 degrees um, on the shaft to influence the weight I tried to do a little bit of that um, on a different model but then I was just watching the rod and I thought well, I, sh I should actually try to use this rod it's quite useful I don't know what was the bad, best method considering that we have that clue with the piercing weights like down the middle but it's hard to say what he is I mean once he figured it figured out how to actually make it like he probably made like dozens of designs to see what works better and how it could uh, be manufactured more easily and stuff like that so probably was building them showing them or just building them and destroying them or scrap them for the next model next design Oh, I'm running out of this space. 
uh, yeah, I don't think this this will actually I've already done the simulation so we should be okay. Uh, but we're not okay because Camtasia. Okay, I'll stop this here. So that's it for now. Uh, I'll probably try another module and show you tonight. Okay, goodbye.